YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about cryptocurrency for beginners, 10 commonly asked questions. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. What is cryptocurrency? How does cryptocurrency work? What controls cryptocurrency? Want to know all this? If yes, read on to find the answers to common cryptocurrency FAQs. The term cryptocurrency is not a mystery anymore, and many people have developed basic awareness about cryptocurrencies and their functions. Interestingly, cryptocurrency adoption has been growing profoundly all over the world, with estimated global crypto ownership rates pinned at 3.9%. So, it clearly means that there are more than 300 million crypto users all over the world as of 2021. Cryptocurrency questions for beginners. People who are learning about cryptocurrency for the first time would reasonably have many doubts. Starting from the definition of cryptocurrencies to their working, there are many cryptocurrency questions for beginners which you should know. Here are some of the frequently asked questions related to cryptocurrency for beginners. 10. What is the history of money? Money is an object that has a value placed on it, which allows for the trade of goods and services. Some money, such as metal coins, has actual value in terms of the materials used. However, paper money is more common in the modern world and typically has no real value. Throughout the evolution of money, currency has taken several different forms. When was money invented? It wasn't until about 5,000 years ago that the Mesopotamian people created the shekel, which is considered the first known form of currency. Gold and silver coins date back to around 650 to 600 BC when stamp coins were used to pay armies. Some evidence suggests that metal coins may be as old as 1250 BC. 9. What is Bitcoin and why should I care about it? Bitcoin is virtual money that is created and exchanged independent of the banking system or government authority. Bitcoins are made through a process called mining which involves the use of computers to solve extremely difficult mathematical equations. Once the problem has been solved, the computer generates a specific number sequence that's assigned to the Bitcoin. The Bitcoins get their value based on supply and demand. Currently, there are an estimated 12 billion Bitcoins in circulation and production is expected to stop once the total number hits 21 billion. Initially, the digital currency was worth just pennies but in recent months, the price of a single Bitcoin has surged to more than $1,000 based on updated exchange rates. The total value currently in circulation is now just over $1 billion. 8. What gives Bitcoin value in the eyes of its investors? Bitcoin, DCUST, is often referred to as digital currency and as an alternative to central bank-controlled fiat money. However, the latter is valuable because it is issued by a monetary authority and is widely used in an economy. Bitcoin's network is decentralized, and the cryptocurrency is not used much in retail transactions. One can argue that Bitcoin's value is similar to that of precious metals. Both are limited in quantity and have select use cases. Precious metals like gold are used in industrial applications, while Bitcoin's underlying technology, the blockchain, has some applications across the financial services industries. Bitcoin's digital provenance means that it might even serve as a medium for retail transactions one day. 7. What drives the price of Bitcoin? Bitcoin, BTC, is a cryptocurrency developed in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto, the name given to its unknown creator, or creators. Transactions are recorded in a blockchain, which shows the transaction history for each unit and proves ownership. Unlike traditional currencies, Bitcoin is not issued by a central bank or backed by a government. For investors, buying a Bitcoin is different from purchasing a stock or bond because Bitcoin is not a corporation. Consequently, there are no corporate balance sheets or Form 10Ks to review, no fund performances to compare, or other traditional tools for choosing an investment. 6. Why is the price of Bitcoin so volatile? Bitcoin, made publicly available in 2009, began its rise to popularity around 2010 when the price for one token rose from fractions of a dollar to nine cents. Since then, its price has increased by tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes rising or falling thousands of dollars within days. There are several reasons why Bitcoin has such a volatile price history. Understanding the factors that influence its market price can help you decide whether to invest in it, trade it, or continue watching its developments. 5. What are some of the common misconceptions around Bitcoin? Digital currencies are only used for illicit activity. One of the oldest and most pervasive myths about digital currencies is that they are most commonly used for illicit activity. While it's true that digital currencies have been used by individuals with nefarious goals in mind, 
digital currencies don't have value. Value is a subjective concept, a person, community, or society may place value on an object that another puts in the recycle bin. Cryptocurrencies aren't secure. The key technology behind cryptocurrency is the blockchain. A blockchain is a distributed database secured with encryption techniques and technology that is very difficult to break. And some other. 4. Is it too late to invest in Bitcoin? You have missed Bitcoin's incredible 50 million percent price rise from Bitcoin's launch in 2009 until 2022. Most people have missed this. Even people involved at the start of Bitcoin didn't fully understand the value of what they had created. Infamously, in 2010 an early Bitcoin miner Laszlo Hanyakes paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two large pizzas as a way of testing the technology, not knowing that Bitcoin would be worth over 50,000 Australian dollars. Bitcoin has only been around since 2008 and is experiencing increasing adoption worldwide by regular investors, seasoned investors, Wall Street fund manager, and big corporations. 3. How can I buy crypto today? There are thousands of different cryptocurrencies, but experts say you should take a hard pass on most of them. Crypto values fluctuate by the hour, and this can be especially true for lesser known coins. Even more established cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin experience their share of volatility, but at least have a greater record of increasing in value over time. The process for buying Ethereum, or any other altcoin, is the same as the process for buying Bitcoin, but we will use Bitcoin as an example throughout as it's the most valuable and most widely held crypto on the market right now. 2. What's the difference between a custodial and non-custodial wallet? The prime difference between custodial and non-custodial cryptocurrency services is that the private key is managed by third parties in the former case, whereas it is handled by users in the latter case. Creating a non-custodial crypto wallet is an extensive and complicated process. So, it is advisable to consult with a reputed blockchain development company for developing it. Here's how the custodial wallets work. A, third party in this case, asks B, users in this case, to transfer their funds to a particular address slash place, but A does not receive any private key to that storage address. The third party authority manages all the funding, with the condition that users won't be able to perform any transaction without their involvement. 1. Where can I go to learn more? A few decades ago, when you wanted to learn something new, it meant spending a couple of evenings a week at a local school, maybe taking a photography or bookkeeping class from a board night school instructor. Today, the worlds of learning and personal or professional development are literally at your fingertips. The open learning movement has made the opportunity to get smarter in your spare time completely accessible to anyone with an internet connection, and it's exploded in recent years. On one of the more popular online learning sites, Udemy, there are over 30,000 courses available, and that's just on one site. To help you get started, here are five amazing places to learn something new. 1. Lynda.com where over 4 million people have already taken courses. 2. Your favorite publications. Make time to read and learn something new every day from your favorite blogs and online magazines. 3. CreativeLive.com Get smarter and boost your creativity with free online classes. 4. Hackaday. Learn new skills and facts with bite-sized hacks delivered daily. 5. MindTools.com a place to learn leadership skills. See more great places to learn leadership skills online here. Thanks for watching.